Hello everybody, this is Philip with Java 1 1504 and this is our week 2 Fundamentals 2 project video in that we talk about the changes the instructor requested for our week 1 video. For me there was four changes, two of which are fundamental. Let's go ahead and show you those. The very first change he wanted was the name of our application changed to just testing. So we go here to settings, we scroll down and we see that it is now entitled just testing. We also see, of course, that the second requirement was an icon with a white square and a blue check mark. So we did accomplish that as well. And if we look back here inside of the launcher, we do also see that it's right there at the top. It says it worked. And now if we click on it, we see that our third requirement, the title of the application, is it worked. So voila, we changed the activity title. Our last action was that he wanted a toast message when uh, we added a color. So let's show you that. We have our toast message there at the top. And he also wanted us to have the ability to remove a color. So there's our remove button right there inside of our alert dialog, which shows when we removed and it updates the values. So how did we implement all that? So the very first thing to implement was the application name change. As you can see under application Android label, it is now just testing, which is changed inside of the strings XML file for app name, just testing, activity name, it worked. And then we see under the activity for the main activity, the label is it worked. And the intent filter label for older devices, such as the Nexus One, and on the emulators is just testing. However, for most newer phones, this intent filter Android label is redundant. And it doesn't use that because in the launcher, it's going to have this, which means if your activity has the launcher category on there, it's going to use this inside of the launcher, which is perfectly fine. Our other requirement was that we had to change the icon, and we did that by creating the image assets and putting them here inside of the program. We have a white square with a blue check mark. I added a little drop shadow flare because it looks nice. And now to the code changes that he requested, he wanted us to go ahead and add a remove button to our alert dialog, which we did on this one right here, set negative button remove on click listener and it removes it from the confirm collection and from the color collection by referencing the string and then it removes it from our resources as necessary it shows a toast message and then it updates the counts the difficulty here was updating the counts and updating the average core length because once they were removed from the collections we had to change that in the underlying code but all we had to do was add two items that we passed to it a false bowling and a null value if we go to control update color count here, we see that the bowling type is false, which means that we're going to subtract one, which we did right here. And then it updates. If it's less than zero, it'll update our count to zero so that our count stays above zero at all times. Finally, in our update average length, we set a text added. If it is null, then we want to make sure that we are not adding a calculation for a null string and our calculation stays above zero so that our average length count is zero when there's no items in there. The last thing that we talked about was adding a toast notification. Well, I could have done a simple one-liner here for show toast. I decided to have my own method for show toast to make sure that the desired message wasn't empty. We grab our current context, we grab our length, we set our toast, we set our gravity positioning to the top, and then we show it. And so really, guys, that was it. Those were all the changes that he wanted. I hope to see you in the next project. Bye-bye.